mathematicians. In this video, we're going to work through two examples of converting an equation written in standard form to an equation written in slope intercept form. We'll do the first one together, and then I'm going to have you try the second one on your own and see how you do. Just as a reminder, slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So to get it in slope intercept form, we need to isolate y all by itself. So let's start with this first one. We want to get y all by itself. My first task is to undo this whole term, 6x. So I need to subtract 6x from both sides. That's going to turn 6x into 0 there. All right, so then I'll have 0 minus 2y, or negative 2y left on this side. And I'll have both negatives, so negative 10x plus a negative 6x, or negative 6x minus 10. I like to put that x term first to get it in slope intercept form. All right, next, to get y all by itself, y is being multiplied by 2. So I want to divide both sides by negative 2. Excuse me, it's being multiplied by negative 2. So I'm going to divide the entire side by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. And then on the right side, I'm going to distribute that division of negative 2 to both of my terms in the numerator. So negative 6x divided by negative 2 minus 10 divided by negative 2. Let's simplify. Negative 6 divided by negative 2 is a positive 3. So 3x minus 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5. And finally, let's get rid of those negative, the double negatives. So 3x plus 5. So we're using algebra work to convert from standard form to slope intercept form by isolating y and then simplifying the right side. So a couple steps to isolate y. Why don't you now pause me and try this one on your own and then come back, I'll give you the slope intercept form and then we can work it together if you'd like. I'm gonna give you a few seconds. Did you get y is equal to negative 2 fifths x minus 3 fifths? If so, um, you're good to go and keep practicing. If not, let's do this one together. My Again, I want to isolate y, so my first task is to undo this entire term, negative 2x. I want to turn that negative 2x into 0, so I'm going to add 2x to both sides. Let's bring it down here. And I'm left with negative 5y is equal to 2x plus 3. Next, I want to undo the multiplication of negative 5 times y to get y all by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 5. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1. So y is equal to, let's now distribute this division to both of my terms. 2x divided by negative 5 plus 3 divided by negative 5. All right, for the first term, 2 divided by negative 5 is simply negative 2 fifths. I'm going to write that as a fraction, and that's times x. Plus 3 divided by negative 5 is the fraction negative 3 fifths. And finally, let's handle those double signs, negative 2 fifths x minus 3 fifths. Mathematicians, I hope these two examples have helped you look through the strategies that we can use for using algebra to convert standard form to slope intercept form. Please don't hesitate if you'd like to work one together in class. If you have any questions, just ask. All right, see you soon, mathematicians.